हेलो एवरी वन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल ओके इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द न्यूमरिकल ऑफ द फिलर्स और मिला इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी कवर द न्यूमरिकल ऑन द रैंकिंग फॉर मिला एज वेल एज इलर्स फॉर मिला कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द बोथ फॉर्मिलेज ओके समटाइम्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू विल गेट द कंपेरिजन ऑफ द बोथ इलर्स और रैंकिंग फॉर्मिला यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द रेशो ऑफ इलर्स एंड रैंकिंग फॉर्मिला ओके सी आई है टू एग्जाम्पल विल सी वन बाय वन सी फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टू वन ए सिलेंड्रिकल क्यू having the internal diameter 70 mm and external diameter is 80 mm okay and you have to want the subject take to the axial load this axial load is denoted by the p is equal to 100 kN and also you have to want the effective length 4.5 m i will convert into the 4500 mm Okay, meter to mm, and this one hundred to newton. Okay, then alpha. What is the alpha? Last lecture we have seen what is the alpha. Alpha is the ranking constant. This value is given one by seven thousand five hundred. He is given two hundred GPA. Convert it to MPA. Two hundred into ten raised to three MPA or newton per mm square. Also, you have to know the yield stress. Yield stress. Okay. When you apply the axial load on the given column of that hollow portion, then you will get the yielding. This yield stress is given 150 mPa. 150 mPa. Okay. Then what do you want to calculate? Find the strain load using the ranking formula. Okay. You know the ranking formula. We want to calculate the Find the set load when you acting this type of this uh, this type of the stresses induced in the given column. Then this column is safe or not? You have to calculate the load on that column. Then how to calculate? See, already I have told you have to start the reverse direction. What we want to find out? Find out the set load using the ranking formula. Okay. Then we want to find out the In load, it is denoted by P R. What is the formula? We have seen sigma C into A divided by one plus alpha into L by K square. L by bracket square. L by bracket square. Okay, you should remember this formula. Then we want to find out the finally P R value. Then see which value we have. Which value we have and which value we want to calculate? Okay, and how to calculate that value? Take that uh, sigma c into a one plus alpha into a divided by square. Okay, sigma c is given. Area we want to calculate. Then what is the formula for the area for the given all of portion? We know that area is equal to pi by four into G square minus small g square. Okay, here is a capital B. What is the value of capital B? 80 mm. And what is the value of small b? It is equal to 70 mm. Okay. Then we know the area. Then what we want to calculate? We want to calculate the radius of variation. K. How to calculate that K? We know the formula. K is equal to what? Root of I by K. Root of I by K. So how to calculate the amount I? How to calculate the I? I is equal to moment of inertia of given component pi by 64 into outside diameter raised to four minus inside diameter raised to four. This is the formula for the hollow portion. Already we have seen the unit number three. Then uh, this once you have calculated all this. Then easily we can calculate the set load using the ranking formula. Then can we start? Yes. All of you getting the idea. First, you know what we want to calculate. 
you should write this formula then after that check which value is given in given data okay and remaining value how to calculate you know that this thing okay then i will write first we want to calculate area this is divided by a what is the formula 5 by 4 into d raised to 2 minus d square okay put the value in this equation 5 by 4 into d square what is the d square 80 outside diameter minus inside diameter 70 square once you have calculated uh, see if you are doing the calculation of this then you will get 1178.097 mm square what is the unit of area mm square 1178.097 mm square then next what we want to calculate we can calculate the i value moment of inertia because we can't calculate the k without i that's why moment of inertia i is equal to what is the formula? 5 by 64 d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 is equal to put the value 5 by 64. What is the value of d? 80 mm outside diameter raised to 4. What is the value of small d? 70 raised to 4. Then you will get the i is equal to 832.031 into 10 raised to 3. What is the unit of moment of inertia? mm plus to 4 you will get the second answer i is equal to once you have got the i value then easily you can calculate the k value because we know the area as well as movement of inertia then k is the what is the k radius of gyration radius of gyration it is denoted by what k k is equal to you know that root of i by a what is the value of i? 832.031 into 10 raised to 3 divided by what is the area? 1178.097 root of this value. And if you have calculated that uh, radius of gyration k is equal to you get 26.5755 mm. Check, check this value, the top calculation, you will get the 26.575 unit. Okay, very simple. This type of numerical you will ask for the 6 mark. And finally, check that we have all the values. Because here is a, any is given directly. This any value is given. Check that. Any, uh, we don't know the any value. Okay. Any value is effective length is given directly 4.5 meter. Okay, we have converted into the 4500 mm. Then check that PR is equal to okay. This PR is a what is the PR? Load using the ranking formula. PR is equal to what is the formula? Sigma C into A divided by 1 plus alpha into into Le by k square bracket square and put the value sigma c is given directly its stress is given its stress also just column is broken means anything will start that's why here we will get the tripling value its stress means tripling value sigma c is equal to 150 mpa 150 into what is the value of area? We have calculated 1178.097 divided by 1 plus what is the value of constant, ranking constant, alpha 1 divided by 7500 into what is the value of ELE? 4500. Check that up. You should change the unit because all values we have taken in mm. That's why you have to convert this meter into mm. Divided by what is the value of k? We have calculated 26.575 square. Okay, if you have calculated this, do the calculations and check the PR value, you will get the 36.639 kilonewton. 
okay very simple if you know the main formula then how to calculate the other value then easily you can calculate okay this type of numerical will ask for the 6 to 7 marks on the buckling of column here they have not given the condition but they have given the directly effective length they are not given the relation actual length and effective length all of you waiting how to calculate here they have given the column portion or a cylindrical portion then next one uh, second one we will see the second one check that what what is the given you have given the rectangular section in second numerical say that you have given the in the second numerical you have given the rectangular section okay uh, one steel bar of the rectangular cross section is given 55 mm by 45 mm 55 by 45 mm this b is equal to i will write width is given 55 mm and d depth is given 45 mm check that okay then second what they have given the condition is given pin at both ends okay pin at both ends we know that we have seen already some numericals here is a pin at both ends okay this condition is given when you apply the force then you will get l is equal to effective length is equal to actual length this value is given 2.3 meter you have to convert it into mm you will get the 2300 mm okay then next check that this e is equal to 210 gpa then again convert it into mpa 210 into 10 plus 2 mpa you know the relation then sigma c is given 550 mpa alpha is given 1 divided by 1600 then what we want to calculate they have asked the compare the load with the ehlers formula to the racking formula means you have to calculate the ratio of pe divided by pr is equal to how much they will ask okay all of you getting what do you want to calculate compare the inner critical load okay compare the inner critical load to the ranking load ranking load then how to calculate this how to calculate this see what we want to calculate pe and pr okay we have seen in the pr we know the formula what is the pe the inner load we have seen p is equal to pi square ei divided by l square and what is the pr pr is equal to i will write once again sigma c into a divided by 1 plus alpha into l by k bracket square l by k bracket square then see which value we have and which value we want to calculate in the second equation okay we will check in the first equation we we have given the e value okay we have the e value we don't know the i value we want to calculate i value from the first equation here is also given then from the second equation check that which value we have sigma c is given okay alpha also given alpha also given we want to calculate this k value and area value okay we we'll calculate one by one okay for the k we know the what is the k k is equal to what k is equal to we have seen k is equal to rho dot i by k i by k that's why we get the both value if you have calculated i and a then you get the easily k value then first we we'll calculate the area what is the area of the this rectangular steel bar 55 by 45 55 by 45 if you have calculated 55 by 45 then you will get the 2475 mm square mm square okay then next we want to the calculate the i value this is the rectangular portion okay that's why here remember that we want required the i means what 
least moment of inertia. Okay, here least moment of inertia. I will calculate first. First, I x x is equal to you know b d q divided by 12 is there. Okay, because of symmetry. P what is the value of B? 55 into D 45 cube is there divided by 12. What is the value of I X X? If you calculate, then you get the 417.656 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 is there. Okay. Similar way you have to calculate the I Y Y for this given rectangular body. What is the formula? Db cube divided by 12 is there. Db cube divided by 12 is there. What is the d? 45. And what is the b? 55 cube is there divided by 12. Then check that you will get the 623.906 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 is there. Mm raised to 4 is there. Then which is the least moment of inertia out of these two values? Check that. Which one is the least? This I least moment of inertia I least is equal to I X X is equal to what is the value? Four one seven point six five six into ten raised to three mm raised to four. This is the least moment of inertia. Least moment of inertia. Once you have got the I value and the area value, easily you can calculate the K value. What is the K? K is equal to root of I by K. I by K. What is the I means? Okay, don't take the I by value because this is the bigger than this one I X X. That's why I this value is in four one seven point six five six into ten raised to three. Divided by what is the area? Two four seven five is equal to. If you calculate, then you will get the thirty mm. Okay. Required value we have calculated. Then put this value in this two equation. In this two equation, we have the all value. You should put the value in this equation. We will solve the one by one. We solve the one by one. Check that. What is the? We we'll calculate the first. P P is equal to pi square P. What is the value of P? Two one zero into ten to the to three. Okay. What is the value of I? Which value we we'll take? I I is four one seven four one seven point. Six five six into ten raised to three divided by L is where? What is the L? Two thousand three hundred square. Then you will get P is equal to what is the value of P? Or we can say P is equal to you will get the one sixty three point six four kilometer. Okay, this is the value of P. The next we will calculate the value of the PR. Okay, I will erase this. This one because we need to find this value. Calculate the value. Check that. What is the formula for the PR? PR is equal to sigma c into a divided by one plus alpha l by k square bracket square. Put the value. What is the sigma? Ending value will be given. I am. 50 mpa. I am 50 into what is the area? 2475 is there divided by 1 plus what is the alpha? 1 divided by 1600. Okay. The next uh, into LE. LE we have calculated uh, given 2300. <laughs> Divided by k, what is the value of k? K is equal to 30 mm. 30 bracket square. Then you will get the PR is equal to what? When you calculate, then you will get the PR is equal to 66.2 kilonewton. If you are doing the calculation of this, then you will get the PR is equal to 
2 kN. Once you have get uh, both values, then you should take the ratio of this. What we want to calculate? PE by PR. PE by PR. Okay, this type of numerical ask in the examination. Maximum time this type of numerical will ask. P and PR. P is equal to 163.64 divided by PR is equal to 66.2. Then you will get the 2.47. This is your answer. Okay. All of you getting how to solve the given numerical on the Ehlers and ranking theory. Okay. We have seen uh, five um, numericals, the given theory. Okay. If you have any uh, doubt, then you can ask me. Today we have complete this half part from the unit number four. From the unit number four, buckling of columns. Next lecture we will start the torsion. Torsion. There is also you have given only one formula. Okay, torsion formula. You have to use and solve the numericals for the given conditions. But in the buckling of columns, you should remember the four given conditions. Okay, you should remember the actual length and uh, effective length relations. This is very important. You know the Ehlers formula, you know the ranking formula, you know the how to calculate the radius of the aeration, you know how to the calculate the least movement of inertia. Okay. Also, if you have given the rectangular section or circular section or other section, then what is the formula for the movement of inertia? You should remember all the formulas and with the help of that formula, you can solve the given numericals. Today we will stop. Thank you.